What's up guys? We're doing something a little different today. I took my GoPro to the rink. We had a pickup game, so it wasn't an actual game and we played a little bit different, but there still was a lot of good footage and we're going to be breaking it down so this way you guys can improve your game. Let's get into it. So on the first one, the defense gets the puck at the top, takes the shot, saved by the goalie, goes to the corner. I cycle it around to Austin, cut to the middle. Austin sees me, passes it, boom, shot on net. Good save by the goalie. All right, let's slow this down a bit. So the goalie makes a save, puck goes in the corner. The first thing I do is I check to see where my offensive partner is at. And bam, he is right there behind the net. So I cycle around, pass the puck to him. Don't even think about going high because I know he was open. At about right here, I see the rink is completely open. Look it, there is no one in this space. So I take that space, skate up, Austin sees me, makes that pass, shot on net, great save by the goalie. Here's another great example of cycling. Austin's coming straight at me. I cycle down low. He passes it to me. Defense has me cut off. Pass back door to Travis. Boom. Back door goal. Super easy. Great play. The keys of this one is when I see Austin coming at me, watch the defender right here. He just keeps following Austin and skates away. So this opens up the lane for me. So I jump into that play. He could have passed it there, but instead he cycles around, passes it to me. Look at open. This D-man comes at me, so I couldn't get a shot off or he would have got it with a stick. So instead I go to my backhand. Terrible stick handles, but I see Travis open, so I pass it to him back door and sticks it right in. So more examples of cycling. Austin gets the puck, goes around. I come down low, pass over to me, look at Austin. He's covered, shot, goal. So Austin loses the puck right here. I could have crashed the net and stopped, but here's the thing. There's one defender here, a second defender here, and if I back up a little bit, another one behind me. So instead of stopping and getting covered, I cycle down low. Austin recognizes that, sees me, passes it. I look. Right here, I could have passed that across, but Ed is in the way preventing that pass. So instead, I turn, take that shot, and the puck goes in. So I guess next, we should talk about breakouts. It's a pretty simple breakout. Just pass across, one-touch pass, Travis skates up, passes to Austin, and Austin gets to that goal back door. So the key to breakouts is timing and making sure everyone's in the right position at the right time. You can see right here, Travis and I, instead of skating up the rink, we are skating back towards our defensive zone, allowing more outlet passes. So Austin makes that pass across. I catch it, recognize Travis cycling around the other way. He cuts, gets it, so much room, so much time. He skates down. Austin over here followed his shot when he passed it to me and skated up behind me on the far side. So this allows another pass. Travis recognizes that, passes to Austin, and Austin has a great shot, so he just puts it in. So this is the same play, but Austin and I just switch positions. So I pass it to Austin, Austin passes it to Travis, I skate up, Travis gets pinched, so I pick up the puck, see the opening, cut across, pass it back to Travis right here, passes it over to Kyle, and sadly the puck went wide. So like I said in the last clip, after Austin passed it to me, he followed up his pass. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm following him up, giving him more options. If Travis wasn't open, he could have just dropped it to me and I could have skated up the rink. But instead he made that pass because he was open, I see right here, Travis is starting to get in trouble. So I push up, so if he gets poked, the puck bounces to me, and that's exactly what happens. So I get that, recognize I can't cut in, go to my backhand. So I see right here that there is all this room right across in the middle. So I take that opportunity, skate over. So defense did a good job sticking with me, but that left Travis open. So I turn, that quick pass, tic-tac-toe play here. Ed had to slide over, leaves Kyle open back door, and sadly, just went wide. So this is another breakout, and it's a great example of wanting to get low and swing wide. Look how wide I get. Opens me up for the pass. I skate down, recognize Austin's open, shot, and sadly the puck went wide again. So this is a great example of what you want to do when the defense has the puck behind the net. Instead of just skating up the boards and stopping at the red line, you want to come back into the zone, get low. So I get low. Okay, I'm all the way in the zone. I am past the red line, and I go wide, and I stay wide as long as I can. He has nowhere else to go. Passes it to me. I catch it, pick it up, look at so much room to skate. So I take that opportunity, skate up the side, Andrew cuts me off, and because he's coming at me, I can just cut over to the side, opening up the rink, and recognize Austin's open, and boom, like I said, shot went wide, but it was a good breakout. This play is super simple and super effective. All Travis does is chip it off the boards, and I have the opportunity to skate up, beat the defender, and a good save by the goalie. If I would've gone a little more five hole, that puck would've gone in. When you're breaking out of the zone, you don't want to be standing still. You want to be moving, skating across the rink, finding those open space. So I'm cutting across. Kyle passes to Travis. Travis recognizes me skating across. He doesn't have a direct pass to me, so instead he just throws a nice little chip up off the boards, lands in front of me, gives me opportunity to break into the zone, skate. I have the defense beat at this point. He still has me pinched off. So I try to sneak that thing five hole, and the goalie came across and made a good save. 
It's the same thing. Cutting across the rink is super important. Look at Austin gets the puck. I cut across. He passes it to me. I recognize Travis coming up on my backhand. Drop it off to him. He passes to Austin. I stop in front. Austin takes that shot. Sadly, the rebound went wide. So the reason I'm cutting across here is to make that pass as short as possible, make it easier to make, and also to get open. Look at how much room I have, and I just take my time. Austin passes it to me. So I could have tried to dangle those guys, but I recognized Travis coming down on my backhand. So I dumped it across, and then he recognized Austin coming up. So instead of trying to dangle that guy, he makes that pass. Look at how much time and space Austin has now. The simple plays make such good opportunities. So Austin catches it, loads up. I stop in front. And he takes that shot. I'm there for the rebound, but sadly it went just past me. If this is an actual game, I would have stopped right in front of that goalie and screened him instead of onto the side, but it's a pickup, so I'm not trying to get hit by the puck. Also, look how far up I am. I am not behind the goalie. I am not deep down on the side of the net. I am up on top of the crease. If the puck would have came to me, that would have been an easy garbage goal. So we're getting to drop passes now, but this is also a really good breakout. Guy loses behind the net. I call for it, tell him I got it, see Travis up the boards, pass it to him, follow Travis in, calls for that drop pass, all that room, cover my backhand, shoot, and I hit the side of the net. So the defense lost the puck here. Kyle and I both recognize it and going for it. Because of that, I called for the puck because I had the speed so I can take it around and skate out. I use my foot, kick it to my stick, see Travis wide open on the boards, pass it off the boards, and then I follow him in. And look at how much space and room I have. There's absolutely no one on me. So I call for that drop, and instead of making a super hard backhand pass, he just does a nice little chip, allowing me to skate into the puck. I pick it up. Defense does come, pitches me off to the side, so I'm forced to go to my backhand. I could have skated around, but I saw this opening right here, so I took the shot, and I missed. What Travis should have done after dropping that puck off is skate to the middle. That would have pulled the defense away and gave me a lot more room. That's exactly what I do on this one. I drop the puck to him, skate across, pull the defense away. He cuts over a lot of room and gets the goal. So while breaking into the zone, I recognize Travis is behind me, so I make that drop pass. So at this point, Andrew's on me and Josh is on me. Neither of them picked up Travis. Josh has to decide to stick with me or pick up Travis, which he should have picked up Travis, but Andrew went for him. So instead, he has to recover and come towards me. Travis made that quick little toe drag, leaving the middle open and took that shot and right in past the goalie. I know everyone loves offense, but we also should talk about defense because that wins you games. I'm recovering right here because someone lost his guy. So right here, I'm following Josh. Defense got sucked into the shot. They didn't recognize that someone was behind him. So Aaron takes that shot. Yoshi makes a good save, but there is a rebound. So Ed pulls that out. And what I do is I tie up his stick so he's not allowed to shoot. Stick over his, he can't do anything at this point. He is all tied up. And instead of stopping behind him, that gives him a better opportunity to beat me and get a shot, is I turn around, stop in front of him, get my body in between him and the goalie. This makes it way more difficult for the offense to get a shot off. And Ed recognizes that. He knows I have the advantage here. So instead of trying to do something fancy, all he does is cycle back out and makes a good pass, leading to another opportunity. On this one... I just got beat and that was a good recovery. So Josh was coming down, he cut over hard and I just did a bad job sticking with him. So what I do is I put my stick out and keep it in front of him. Keep that stick in the shooting lane so his only option is to shoot it into your stick and the puck goes wide. Same thing on this one, Ed makes a good cut. He beats me, but I keep my stick in that lane. He knew he didn't have a shot, so he makes a pass out to make another play. I want you guys to recognize you don't always have to go to the net to make plays. Josh makes a good pass to Ed. Ed is pinched off. He has nowhere to go. So instead of forcing a pass in the middle, he just cycles around, passes the puck off to the point, and sets up for another play. So while on defense, you always want to force the guys wide and try not to let him get to the center of the rink. So I know I left Josh a little bit of room on the inside, but that was because Austin was right there so he could pick up the play. This allows me to pick up Ed because I saw him breaking down the boards. And all I do is stick with him and make sure he is not allowed to go to the middle. Again, if you don't have an advantage on someone, just cycle back around and make a pass and set up. I have also done the same thing. There's a rebound right here. I pick up the puck and I start to skate up, but Ed cuts me off. No advantage, so I cycle back around. I look for a pass across. No one there, so I drop it off for the D for a breakout. So this right here is how I want you to guys do 2 on O's, 2 on ones, 3 on O's. Look how many passes we make. We make so many passes and we get the goal. We also don't just make so many passes is we start passing early. I see too often in beer leagues is they wait for the last second to pass across. You do not want to do that. Get the goalie moving. Get him guessing of who's going to take the shot and he's going to try to stick with us. And once we get that opening, we take the shot. And look it, I am not waiting until the very last second to shoot. I'm at the top of the crease. Back door is completely open. So I just rip that puck right in the net. And if you watch the goalie on this, Austin gets the puck. He passes it across, Yoshi starts to come over, I pass it back, so he's forced to stop where he was at to recover for that pass to cover Austin, and now he's down and stuck out of the play. So Austin passes it one more time, 
and right in back door. We do the same thing on this play. Pass it across, Austin makes a pass. I could have shot it, but instead I pass it back and Austin gets that goal back door. The only thing I should, I would have changed about this play is Austin should have passed that sooner, but it ends up working out. And if you see right here, Austin makes that pass. So I could have shot that, but the goalie did a great job of getting over and taking up the net. So I pass it back to Austin. Also, Austin had his stick on the inside of the rink compared to mine that was on the outside. So he has a way easier shot than I do. You can even do these plays when there's a defender on you. Austin picks it up, pass it to me, one touch pass, back door, Good save by the goalie. So right here, Austin picks up the puck. I am going wide because I know he's going to either try to toe drag or pass that puck to me if the defense is on him. I catch that pass and I recognize the defense is going to turn around and put his stick there. So I one touch that pass in between where I think his stick and his body is going to be. Austin picks up the pass, a little one timer, and goalie was able to come across and make that save. So this is our last clip and I want you to watch Ed make this very simple, smart play leading to a great opportunity. So right here, I'm out of position. I am way too far on the boards. Ed recognizes that. He sees the middle open, so he cuts over, takes that opportunity, and right here he could have shot that puck, but he saw Josh breaking it from the top, so he makes that pass. Josh is in the middle, which is a way better shooting opportunity than when you're on the side, so the goalie has to slide over. Josh takes that shot, a good shot high. Goalie comes out, makes himself big, and gets it with his shoulder. So there you guys have it. That's a lot of what I'm thinking and doing while I'm playing the game. If you guys want to get better at shooting, here's five shooting techniques to help you guys score more goals. So click on this video and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.